Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I upload sewing tutorial pattern drafting and DIY. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Press the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like and share this video. So these are the beads I'll be using. So, so I'll be using different sizes of beads. When you get to a tailoring shop, just ask them you want to buy beads. You see different sizes. Any size you have. These ones are the ones I have already at home. So these are the beads. This is the small size. And this one also, you can see. So where they sell tailoring things, you can get any size of bead you want. Then this is my jewelry wire. I'm using size 71. They also have size 90. This particular one is size 90. You can see it's thick. It's thicker than 71. But since this is the one I have, I'll be using size 71. So the first thing you do, you cut out your jewelry wire. So we have the short ones and long ones, so I'll make the short ones first. At this point, you don't really need any measurement. Just cut out what you feel will be enough for you. So let me just cut out, let me say, 9 inches. 9 inches. So, okay. I'll cut out the 9 inches, as you can see. So I'll cut out the 9 inches. Then I'll take... I'll take one of the beads, place it inward like this. I'll place it like this, as you can see. Then I'll fold it, then I'll twist it. I'll bend it like this, then I'll twist it, just to secure it. Like this. So I'll twist it, as you can see. So this is how it looks. Then I'll pick one of the beads. Then I'll fix it in like this. Then take another one. I'll fix it in. Then I'll get the big one. Then I'll add it to it. So basically, that's what I'll be doing. Out this. Then pick. You can use any size of bead. You can use the small size. You can use the big size. So I'll be placing it like this. So this is what I have. So the next thing to secure it, I'll fold this wire to the back like this. This last bead that you're seeing here, I'll fold it back. I'll fold the wire. Ensure that it's firm. Then fold it back like this. Then twist it into this place. Like this. So I'll twist it. You can see it. Then I'll cut off this excess or I'll just twist it in. Then I'll make sure it goes in. So this is what we have. So what we have, so this is what we have. So you make as many as you want for this long shot. These are the short ones I use. These are the short ones. You make as many as you want. Then for the long ones, for the long one, we just measure out 20 inches. So this is the long one. So I will double it because I just want it to have some weight. So I will double the wire for the long ones. For the long one, I will double the wire, then I'll cut it out. Then I'll take the bead, I'll fix it like this, then I'll, I'll bend it like this, then I'll twist it together. So this is what I have. So the next thing is start fixing our bead. So 
so you can see so i'll just continue fixing it so this is the long one so i've gotten to the end so i'll do it i will also fold it the same way i did for this for this size i'll fold it then i'll twist it twist it like this so if you have your plier you can also use it to twist it understand you can use it to also twist it you can also use your hand to twist it i'll use my my plier to show, ensure that this place is relaxed you can see it use it to bend Use it to bend the jewelry wire to ensure that it's relaxed and neat. So one thing about it, one thing about this jewelry wire, you can see you can move it anywhere you want it to be and it will just stay. So this is the long and this is the small one. So I'll make more of this, maybe one extra for the big one. Then I'll make more of this small size. So these are the ones I've made. So back. So by the time by the time I start sewing, if there's need for me to make more, I will make more. So this is it, as you can see. So now we are going to be at, we are going to be stitching it on our fabric. So I'll be using my needle and thread. If you want to, you can also use your hot glue. You can also use your hot glue to fix it, but I'll be using my needle and thread. So at this point, you place it where you want to be. You can see the beauty of the the beauty of the jewelry wire you can twist it anyhow you want to twist it make sure that the the other neat part the part where we started from ensure that the part is the one facing up because you can see it's very neat so you place it anyhow you want to place it then i'll use my needle and try to stitch it down stitch it very close to the bead you can use your hot glue So this is the final look of the design, as you can see, very beautiful. And you can also use copper wire. If you go to where they sell um, building material, just ask them for copper wire. You can also use that wire for this particular design. So please, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.